Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to XCW Now or Never. And I'm your host, Trey Kent. And our first following contest is for the tag team titles of the Dangerous Alliance, taking on B Dog and Mr. Amazing. And now, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our following contest for the tag team titles to start things off. And ladies and gentlemen, we got Chris Danger. And we got Brooke Danger, folks. And not only that, the son, Max Danger. And we have the Danger family, the Dangerous Alliance. And my goodness, folks, what a reunion that we have. The only one that's missing is Alex Danger, the brother of Chris Danger. And my, 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 these two men have did their all to become the number of contenders for the tag team titles. All thanks to the reunion, or should I say the return of Max Danger. Former tag team champions taking on the current tag team champions, the longest reigning, the longest reigning defending tag team champions. B-Dog and Mr. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is now or never. These, this team, man, they have one belt. They have won those belts back from the Hunter Brothers at XCW Forsaken. Unless it was Will and Jaden, one of those two teams in that ladder match. And that has been happening since July. They have been tag team champions since July. And heck, we are one month away, March 21st, Gold for Glory, the greatest shows of all shows of XCW. But the question is, will these two men still become tag team champions and defend it at Gold for Glory, or will it become the Dangerous Alliance to become tag team champions on their way? to go for glory. Extreme Tag Team Chris Danger Max Danger on the way to the ring. What in the world? At a combined weight of 326 pounds, Chris Danger and Max Danger. The Dangerous Alliance, but that was the weirdest introduction I ever heard. Chris Danger what and the hell? At a combined weight of 467 pounds. Yo, 2K, you they good? They are the champions. Mr. Amazing. And the champ, b Dog. There you go, the tag team champions. They've been holding those belts. God knows how long. And there you go, the tag team titles are up. Chris Danger starting off to take on Mr. Amazing. Here we go with the ring a ding ding. Here we go with that kick to the gut and a cobble tie up. Right at the corner on Danger. Cobble tie up again, and now Chris Danger with the waist lock. On to Mr. Amazing. And ho! Got him with that grinder the waist lock still. Oh! Oh wait, uh oh. He ducks the punch and punches him instead. Danger with the jawbreaker. 
Danger. Oh, wait, no. Mr. Nemeth encounters it. Takes him to his side of the corner. Boot to the face. Look at Max Danger distracting the referee. A few kicks right to the, to the left leg of Amazing. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now, Mr. Amazing. Takes him to the corner, tags in B-Dog. Drop toe hold, elbow drop coming in. B-Dog has been tagged in. Oh, Danger takes B-Dog down. Tags in his son, Max Danger. Oh, hard kick to the gut immediately, and look at this. Oh! Knee brain buster. The brain buster knee. And a double foot stop right onto the midsection on Max. I wish we had another. Oh, oh, beautifully done. With the running back elbow strike following up with Izaguri. At the corner onto Danger, but Danger kicks out. Missed the kick. Look at this. Back suplex. Dog has the jumping flat on it, the same exact move as Killermaniac. Killermaniac will be defending his championship against Harry Murphy. Even Shaw is injured and he will not compete until after Go for Glory. That is the update on Ethan Shaw. Oh! Out with a jawbreaker and a clothesline onto Max. And now Max Danger takes him down. With the fans cheering and booing, going back and forth. Oh, right onto the, to the head of the turnbuckle there. Irish Webb going for the double back body drop. And what a high impact coming from the air like that. Another, oh, danger. With that knee drop. Oh, that blue dog takes down uh, danger. Tags in amazing. Oh, targets the knee. And danger was trying to go for that kick. Look at this, bam. My goodness. Uh, Mr. Mason just looking at danger. Look at this. Oh, tags him from behind. Turns him around. Irish whip. Oh, went for something, but that didn't work out. Danger with the Irish whip. And look at this. Oh, what a hard knee. Takes down amazing. Oh, and another one. And what the hell? Wait, what? They copy the page? A freaking bird! Look at this! The danger family with the triple power! <laughs> I did not expect that to happen! And look at this! The referee is is rejecting Brook Danger out at ringside! And look at this! Danger with the monkey flip to be dog! Holy <laughs> Okay, okay. I did not expect that to happen. The Danger family has done the triple power bomb, and that actually happened to them not too long ago, two weeks ago. Or should I say last week? When they was in a tag team match. What the hell? Oh, we'll go for the dark matter. No. Danger counters it. And a knee. Another knee. Too amazing. Now go for the pin. Cover one. Kick out. Uh, Max Danger also got inside the ring to help out his, his father. Oh my god. I could have sworn. <laughs> At least this referee did something right. Escort the person out the building. But the other referee just want to continue 
to do whatever they want to do. Here we go, the Danger Zone, Eat the Feet, AKA Soul Food. Cover one, two, no, and B Dog breaks the pen. Max Danger from behind onto B Dog. Wait a minute, counters the inverted suplex into its own vertical suplex. Ah, clothesline. Another. That's it. And look at this. Oh, and a beautiful catapult. Pop up. Drop kick. Oh, and a sliding D. Takes down Amazing face first. And look at this. Oh, counters it into a hip toss. Nicely done by Amazing. B-Dog is still somewhat fresh for this matchup. And now he is in the ring as he get tagged in. As he got tagged in. Oh! And another one to Chris. Oh, danger. Takes him with the reverse. Oh, wait, no. Counters it right to the kick to the gut onto Chris. Going for that eight second ride. Got him! And Max Ninja finally got up. He was down there for like maybe three minutes. And look at this. Danger. Takes him to the outside and now B-Dog. Takes Danger out. Oh wait, look at him going for that power bomb. Oh, got him. And look at this in a Boston Crab. He can't tap him out outside the ring. He has to do it inside. Because he's trying to enter the back of Chris, man. Oh man, look at this. Oh. Strikes him right to the head and look at this. Oh! Back neck breaker. The referee is now at seven. And Chris Danger takes me dog back inside the ring as he slides back into the ring as well. Look at this. Oh, call breaker. Shades of Christina. Uh oh. Here we go. Are we going to see the super kick? No, we're going to see the eat defeat once again takes him. To the danger zone. Do we have new tag team champions? One, two, three. No. No. B Dog kicks out at two, folks. And look at this. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh! Beautiful. Beautiful maneuver with that Uranagi. Tags and amazing. Tags and max danger. Here we go. Running for him. No, that didn't work out. Pushes Max Danger. Oh, now Max Ninja has been out of the ring by Amazing. And now it's their turn to fight outside. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Amazing don't, don't want to fight outside. Oh, and a hard hit. Hits down Amazing, folks. Takes him up on his feet. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Sit up, power bomb. To Mr. Amazing, going for the pen there. One, two, no, and Amazing kicks out at two. My goodness, folks. Oh, got him with that clothesline. Now Amazing going for that TKO. Oh, wait, no, no, he's not. Fix with the roll up and a 30 D double arm DDT. Go for the pin on Max. One, two, no! Max Danger kicks out at two. Holy crap, I am very surprised. Ladies and gentlemen, after this match will be a nose hole bar match between Mark Maverick and Mr. 925. And another one. Max Danger at the corner. Tags in. Mr. Amazing. And look at this. What the hell is this? Oh, Brain Buster. Amazing with the Fog Smash. Beautiful. Falling up with a standing leg drop. Beautiful combination there. Look at this. Oh, tags him. With the overhead snap me attack. That Ninja pushes him off. But one of the other, that was the end. Uh, what's this Max Ninja doing? I think he was struggling. I don't, I don't know if he was, but 
Boot to the face off the Max. This is amazing. Sends Max Ranger. Oh, and a close line at the corner to Max. As he takes him up on his feet, here we go. Dark Matter. Going for the pin danger. Quickly gets out of the ring before the cover. Just in case. Look at Max. Look at Mr. Amazing looking at Chris, but then looks back at Max. Takes him. You can see Max Ranger busted open. Oh. Kick him right on the leg. Look at this. Oh wait. Let's go for that. Jump the flatliner. Belly to back slam. Now Max Ranger, his son. He's trying to tag his father in. Chris Danger is a three-time tag team champion. Won the belt with Alex Danger. Once and then he won the belt with Max Danger twice. So Max Danger is two-time and Chris Danger is a three-time. But Dangerous Alliance-wise, they are technically three-time tag team champions. Oh, he's going for something. Oh, it's been so kick. Tags in. Mr. Amazing. And oh man, we haven't seen this move in such a long time. Here we go. Got it. With the body splash and the leg drop combined. Two, three, no. No. Max Danger kicks out at two once again. Holy crap, this kid got hot. This kid got hot, and here we go with the kid with the tequila sunrise. With this amazing hole locked in. I don't know if Amazing's gonna tap it. Look at this. Mr. Amazing taps out, folks. Holy crap. And there are your winners. The dangerous alliance. The new tag team champions. About damn time. Well, I know someone is happy. Goodness. What a match. What a opening match. Yeah, now and ever. Here are your winners and the new Extreme Tag Team Chris Danger and Max Danger. Yes, indeed. The Dangerous Alliance are once again Tag Team Champions. And now coming up next is 95 versus Mark Maverick. Nose holds bar. And here we go, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Mr. 9 to 5 to take on Mark Maverick. This is 9 to 5 was going to take on his opponent the night four, four days after uh, the rumble he has been attacked by Mark Maverick but these guys have been going back and forth with each other so the gentleman just said he has no choice but to put these guys in the nose hole bar which means that they could do anything they want they could fight outside where the crowd is, they can go over there. Now the table is, they can go anywhere. I don't know about backstage, but they can go anywhere. Mr. 9 to 5, the Royal Rumble winner of 2019, who will be main defending once again. From New York, New York, weighing in at 243 pounds, Mr. 925. Sorry about the uh, the theme song. 
This is a music box, by the way, because so and a heartache theme song is Mark Rogers theme, but it's okay. And his opponent from Manhattan, New York, weighing in at 270 pounds, Mark Maverick. And there we go. Mark Maverick. The man that has been upset over the fact that he has been eliminated by Mr. 9 to 5. But Mark Maverick came third place. He came third place in the Wumba match as he was the final three. But here's the funny part. Not a five won the Rumble. He's main eventing at Go for Glory. Mark Maverick came third place in the Rumble match. But Harry Murphy, who came second place in the Rumble match, is having a title match later on tonight. So basically, Harry Murphy, he didn't win the Rumble, but he's having a title shot at now and ever later tonight. Isn't that something? So here we go, folks. Not a five. Mark Maverick, one on one for the first time. Here we go. He's going for that knife ass chop, but then 95 got him. Here we go with a flapjack early. Oh, look at this deadlifting. Look at this. Oh, power. Deadlifting, sit up, power bomb, cover, kick out at one. My goodness, look at this. Oh, and a hard running big boot. To 9 to 5, 9 to 5 quickly gets up. Look at that. I was trying to take him down. Look at this. Oh! Got him. With the Meteora. AKA the, so the Chocolate Rain. Look at this. Mark Maverick. Mark Maverick, look at that. Spinning wheel kick. All right, up to 9 to 5. Everybody is cheering for, for uh, Mark Maverick here. The fans love of Mark Maverick. And look at this, butt in the fingers. About a five. Go for the pin, one. Kick out. Not a five, came out of nowhere and came back at number 30. And oh, oh, what the hell? What the heck is this? Holy crap! This dude lift him up. Did an apron superplex. Onto Mark Miller, cover and a kick out. At zero. At zero. Oh, no light suplex to Mark Maverick. You can hear the booze, man. You can hear the booze. Look at this. Oh, and a headlock driver. This guy, 95, is pulling up some new moves up his sleeves, which is very, very surprising. Look at this. Oh, snapping a leg. Don't forget, Mr. 95 does a figure for leg lock as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, and a running Meteor once again. Oh, let's go for that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mark Maverick. Oh, with the takedown. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, and the shoulder thrust. Takes down Maverick. These guys just taking each other down back and forth. Oh, what the hell? Oh, back to business. End of days. Cover. One. Two, no, it was one. It was a one count. It was a one count. Nine to five. Oh wait, no, he grabbed him by the head, but then that didn't work out. As he sweeped him by the leg, look at this. Oh, belly to back suplex. By Mark. Making no two driver coming in hot. Got him. Pitfall, cover, one, two, kicks out at two. Now look at this, not a five with a close line. Oh, the referee got knocked down by nine to five by accident. Nine to five went a little too fast. Nine to five going up top. Going for something, no. Oh! Boot to the face, takes Maverick down and now another 
Then lifting, sit up, power bomb. Pinfall, one, two, kicks out at two. Nine to five, cannot believe his eyes. My goodness. Mark Maverick wants his redemption to get a win against nine to five. Look at this. Oh, what the hell? Oh my God, that has to hurt. That has to hurt. He just long darted. Just long darted. Mark Maverick, here we go with the punch it cut. Say the night one, two, three, and that is done. Nine to five is the winner. Look at that nine to five talking trash to Mark Maverick, folks. Jesus. Uh, you can see Mark Maverick holding his ribs. This is 9 5. This is the winner of this match. And I'm sorry. I'm, uh, this, I know this is supposed to be a no to a bar match, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. 9 5 is not done with him yet. Oh, right onto the apron. This guy, 9 to 5. It's not done with Mark. Oh! Takes him down to the steel steps, man. And now to get ready for our next following contest. And now we are back. And here we go with Aaron Prince, the one who has defeated former champions and A champion, but he did not defeat the champion this past Tuesday against Killer Maniac, who is the world heavyweight champion. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 207 pounds, Aaron Prince. And ladies and gentlemen, this match is Aaron Prince taking on El Dorado. I forgot to mention that after the match was done between United Five and Mark Maverick. But good news for this match. Whoever wins will be taking on the Intercontinental Champion. And they will become the number contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And here's the other best part. They can choose whatever the show. It could be one of the shows before Go For Glory or it could be at Go For Glory. Anyway, the winner could choose the entire opportunity, whether in episode 87, 88, 89, or episode 90, or at Go For Glory for the entire shot for the IC title. So ladies and gentlemen, we have El Dorado coming down to the ring, and these two men will be taking on each other for the very first time. El Dorado is a former tag team champion. Has never won none of the belts. Not the World Television title. Not even the US title. Not even the XW World title or the Intercontinental Championship. He only won the tag team titles. But let's see how this is going to go between Aaron Prince and El Dorado. This should be fun to watch. And oh, what and finding again! I mean, I mean, not again, not again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about too much. I'm thinking about two weeks ago. Holy crap, a flying running knee onto El Dorado in the very beginning of the match and El Dorado with the Huracarana. A jumping Huracarana. Oh my God, that just came out of the box. didn't went for the pin. This dude, Aaron Prince. This dude, Aaron Prince, man. I'm surprised that is not his finisher for this match. Oh! To the, to the first. Uh, the water pushes him off. Message. By the way. Kick right to the back. Uh, the water picks him up on his feet. Low kick right to the leg. Oh! You're giving up a cut. Uh, the water getting taken by Aaron Prince with the float over a neck breaker there. Jawbreaker. 
And another. Takumata take down. Oh man. Adorado going for that drop kick. That didn't work out. Oh, Prince takes him down. Look at this with the foot DDT. Go for the pin. One kick out. Oh. Oh. Did a kick right to the head while he played possum in the corner clothesline. And now Prince with the clothesline takes down El Dorado, folks. Oh, wait. Look like he's going to win this match early. BFT. Knee and a distant clothesline, folks. One. Kick out. At one. Oh, man. Here we go. Going for that spiral tap. Here we go. Got it. He got all of it. Could this be it? Cover. One, two, no. Adelano kicks out at two, folks. Uh oh. Adelano taking control so far. Oh, running knee for the second time. He got it. Here we go. SOS to Prince. And a hard kick right to the back, folks. Adorado going up top. I think he's going to go for a frog splash. Oh, wait. No, he's turning himself around. Look at that. Smooth salt. Beautifully done by Eldorado cover two and Prince kicks out at two. That was a beautiful and smooth moonsault there. Better than Charlotte's. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about WWE. But here we go. Oh, what? Was going for something. Maybe a power driver or, or a power bomb or something. But he counters it into a back body drop. And look at that stomp right onto the head. Cover two. Kick out at two. Eldorado is busted up in here. This is a title opportunity for the IC title. The winner could choose any show, any TV taping, or go for glory. Oh man, here we go. Going for it again with that knee falling up with the distant clothesline. Is he going to take the pin here? Elbow drop. Standing elbow drop to Eldorado. Cover. One, two, Three and wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> El Dorado had the rope. He had the bottom rope. And the referee didn't see it. Here is your winner, Aaron Prince. The referee didn't see it. Oh my god. I don't know what's gonna happen to be honest. I, I don't know what's going to happen to be honest, but coming up next is the women's championship between Sally Scream and Ashley Winners. My goodness graciousness, folks. Jesus.